Hey guys, Fly Girl VSG coming into you with my week 49 post-op VSG um, update. I started the two-week pre-op diet at 301.2. I started, uh, oh my gosh, sorry, I just noticed something. I'll tell you about, about it in a minute. Um, I weighed in day of surgery at 291.8. I weighed in last week at 196. I need a pen. I did not do the math on this. I, oh, hold on. Okay, sorry. Um, I weighed in this week, so I weighed in last week at 196, I weighed in this week at 197.2 for a gain of 1.2 pounds, a total loss since two-week pre-op diet of 104 pounds. So it seems like, um, because I had a big loss last week, I lost 3.4 pounds I think last week, completely on like no idea how that happened, and then it seems like I can't have a big loss without another small gain the following week, so, um, that's kind of weird and I'm not super down with that. Um, but I will say this, I, um, when I came back from Arizona, I had to change my oral birth control to a higher level estrogen birth control. And it has been disconcerting because immediately since then, I have been a fucking gaping hole. That's all I've been doing is hand to mouth, hand to mouth. I'm never satisfied, always hungry, always, it's head hunger, stomach hunger, it's never enough. So I think that 1.7 gain, uh, some of it's probably uh, water retention because I've been having a lot of sodium. I had fried chicken last night. I mean, I didn't eat a ton of fried chicken, but I had a thigh and a drumstick, which is way more than I can normally get down, and a quarter of a waffle. Like, I had chicken and waffles, and I slathered everything in maple syrup, so tons of sugar. Um, and then I came home and had an apple crisp. Like, it was a light, like, light recipe, like not super, um, high fat or calories or whatever, but still like, how did I even fit all that? And a cheese, a piece of cheese and some crackers. Oh my God. I've just been a gaping hole. So I am a little nervous about that because it's only, you know, like going into the holidays and everything and I'm cooking more like in terms of managing my consumption. Um, so, I mean, I am fine with the one pound gain or 1.2 pound gain as long as it doesn't keep happening. Obviously, I don't want, to, you know, I'm close to 200, so I don't want to get back over that at any point. I was hoping to be down to like 192 by the end of the year. Um, that's only like a pound a week. Um, so, that's what I'm shooting for. You know, I've um, made some plans in terms of drinking this month. I said I would drink only three days. Um, I might make that too. Right now, there's a party that I'm going to go to on Saturday. It would be kind of nice to have a cocktail there, just because there's karaoke, and, um, so usually it takes me one or two drinks to sing karaoke, but I'm not entirely sure that I'm going to drink there, and definitely, um, Thanksgiving, although I may be able to pass on drinking on Thanksgiving too, and, um, instead just do the wine tasting the day after, so... You know, I kind of have to decide how that's going to go. But I'm not too worried about it. Um, I'm traveling out of town next weekend, and I don't plan on drinking. Because, um, you know, that doesn't help. I don't think that all of my weight loss or weight gain hinges on whether I drink or not. But it definitely doesn't help me. Um, also, another thing with the estrogen um, levels going up a little bit, my skin is, um, I don't know if you can see that, but look at how bad that is. Like, my skin is so angry. I've got just terrible eczema, rashing, I don't know if you can see that or not, but you can see it up here, um, I can't stop, I can't stop scratching, Ugh. so, um, yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, um, the whole intention of raising up the estrogen is because I've been spotting so much throughout the month for the last, like, seven months, um, probably as a side effect of the surgery and the hormones and everything that goes along with that in terms of just how your body changes so rapidly. Um, so the goal in, um, God, can you, hear, can you tell that I'm like rubbing my thumb against my jeans? Oh my God, it feels so good. And then I take my hand away and it fucking hurts because, you know, I'm rubbing it raw. I'm literally, you see that? I'm literally rubbing it raw. How gross is that? Anyway, Lindsay, uncensored. 
Um, so a couple things I wanted to talk to you about. What was I in the middle of saying? Oh yeah, um, so the hopes of the estrogen was to, so that I wasn't feeling like I was PMSing all the time, which I was, and also to help reduce the spotting. Um, however, I've been hungrier, and I've always been the sort of person that's opposite in terms of like people get on birth control and they gain weight. I get off birth control and I gain weight, but whatever, re I've been on the same birth control for years and years and years and years and years and years and years. Um, I've never had any problems with spotting until this year. And, um, so I seem to be a little more sensitive to this birth control in terms of how it's affecting my desire to eat, which is not fucking cool, honestly. So I'm going to give it through the end of the month and we'll see what happens, but I got to get that fucking shit in check. Um, exercise update I wanted to talk about. Um, I've been lifting at the gym. I do have a shoulder injury, um, on my, uh, right shoulder a little bit. And, um, so I'm trying to like deal with that. Like I can't do anything like overhead with the lifting. Um, I have to be really careful of how I position my body in the weightlifting, but I also feel like I'm slacking in cardio. I mean, basically I do 10 or 15 minutes of cardio on the same days that I lift and I may take one class a week, like a Zumba class or something like that. But I really, um, am not giving it my all. Like I don't feel super challenged. Like I'd really like to have time in a week to do a second cardio class in addition to the weightlifting. So we'll see. God damn it. Ah, oh, sorry. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, also at the beginning of this year, when I'm done with a 12 week weightlifting challenge of which I am finishing up week six this week. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, I've got six weeks left. Um, obviously 12 minus six, right? Let's see who's texting me. Oh no. Okay. Um, so what else? Oh, after the new year, I'm going to go back to the warrior room. So I'll be doing kettlebells. I won't be, um, I'm going to take a break. I have a one month free unlimited kettlebell workout uh, thing there. So I'm just going to plan on going there like three days a week. Um, and then doing like one day of yoga and then one day of something else, you know, maybe another cardio class. Cause that's more like boot camp style. Um, so I'll be getting my lifting there, but, um, I'll probably do a little bit of cardio on top of it and definitely a yoga class, um, on top of it. And I think that'll be good in terms of, it definitely gets my heart rate more up than it has been in a while. Um, so I think that'll be good for me. Um, also I am, uh, officially, I think I said this last week in a size 12 jeans. I went and bought two pairs of jeans at Goodwill last week. They fucking fit like a glove. I cannot believe it. It is so weird. Um, I am fully in the holiday spirit. I'm super excited. I'm homemaking a lot of my gifts this year. So, um, not a lot, but some, and I've been really excited about them. So, um, I'm going to be making infused liquors, like infused vodka, infused, um, and infused, um, like habanero whiskey. And I'm also going to be making like face and body scrubs. Those are super easy and really fun. But I'm also going to make super fun decorative like painted jars and stuff to put them in. So it's not just going to be what's inside the jar, but the jar itself. Um, so yeah, and I can't wait to get my Christmas tree. I can't wait for Thanksgiving, which is right around the corner. I can't even believe that. Holy crap. Two weeks. Two weeks from today, I think, actually. Oh, my God. And a uh, quick shout out to um, Kelly Mayo. Um, for sending me a box of clothes, she sent me a super cute pair of eight jeans, which, you know, obviously it's going to be like 10 years before I fit into that, but who knows? Um, and they're from, they're seven, so they're really good quality jeans. And then she sent me a size 10 jumpsuit that seriously, oh my God, made me so fucking happy. I love jumpsuits and it's glittery and I want to wear it all the time starting immediately, but I can't, unfortunately. Um, she gave me a couple other shirts and stuff, um, most of which are mediums, so it'll be a while before I get, they're kind of small, but one of the shirts that she gave me was a large, and it fits, and it's super cute, so, um, I just need some shapewear to wear with it, because it's a small large, so, we'll see. Um, so thanks, Kelly, for that. I will send you a, um, private message also saying thank you, which I meant to do yesterday and did not, so I apologize. Um, and that's pretty much it for me. Um, I am obsessively scratching my... I have movie night tonight. Um, we're watching Hedvig and the Angry Inch. Uh, it is freezing rain here. It is 30 degrees, 32 degrees outside right now. As far as I know, almost everyone has bailed. So I made this huge salad and everybody else who's bringing food isn't coming. So 
I may just be eating salad for dinner, and then if my other friends come, then we'll have soup and salad, because they're making, making potato leek soup, so no protein for dinner <laughs> tonight, but what do you do? Um, that's my update. So I know I'm super boring, but I do have some really good stuff planned for my one-year anniversary, which is in like three weeks, three-ish, um, weeks, and yeah, I'll do a skin flick, and I know it's still Naked November, but I already did a Naked November, and I don't prefer to be naked all of November. I think that one was enough for me. Smaller your own spit. <coughs> Done the wrong tube. Oh, speaking of pointing at my neck, I'm so obsessed with my neck. So I'm at the gym, <clears throat> and every time I'm at the gym, like I'm doing something, and I'm like, you know, and then I'm like lifting, like like yesterday I was doing dumbbell shrugs, right? So I'm like, oh, oh, and then I'm like, oh my god, my neck is so amazing, and I'm like, there's shit going, there's like all this stuff going on with that. Like, there's, I mean, it totally grosses me out, but at the same time, I'm, like, fascinated. Because tendons and veins, really, it's like a phobia. I don't care for it. But on me, I'm like, ooh, I have that. Like, you can see that. And not just the collarbones, but, like, anyway, I'm obsessed with my neck. I feel like it's the thinnest part of me. <laughs> Which, technically, I suppose it is. <laughs> Maybe my wrists are smaller. Anyway, I hope you guys have a super great week. Mwah. I love you. I'll see you next week. Keep a fly out there. Bye.